What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Igmatica 2 Expert. Oh, yeah. You like my fancy glasses? That's right. I've been doing a little bit of thumb craft, guys. So the goggles are revealing are now a bobble, so you don't have to, like, wear them on your head as actual armor anymore. You can still do that if you want to, but there's not a lot of reason to. So you can put them into the bobble slot right there. You have your regular armor. These don't get damaged when you take damage. At least I don't think they do. They might actually. I'm not entirely sure about that. I made that up. But anyway, yeah, the goggles revealing definitely are something that is a thumb crafty thing. So uh, we left off trying to make the blood altar, right? And it turned out that in order to make this glass lens, in order to make this, we needed a mirrored glass. So I've been going through the Thaumonomicon trying to unlock research and do a whole bunch of things here in order to get to that point. So fundamentals, we've been going through this. I've been unlocking these things as we go. I made a V resonator. I made a caster's gauntlet. Um, yeah, that's not so bad. Quartz, iron plate, this thing is some leather. I had to go fishing for some fish, cook the fish, put them on the drying racks. That's why we got drying racks up here uh, to turn that into leather. It had to use one of our thermometers in there. And then that V resonator that we made earlier went into that recipe as well. So yeah, I've made some of those things. I unlocked Artifice, which actually wanted us to make the Goggles of Revealing. That's why I made that to begin with. Um, and as you unlock these different sections here, it does add these other tabs over here, right? Uh, so if you go to the Artifice section and we click here, Goggles of Revealing is what it needed. And then it said, oh, you look at this. You unlocked everything and right here is Mirrored Glass. So we are now able to craft this stuff just by going through some of the basic Thomcraft things. Um, also, in the quest book here, uh, you can see that there's a bunch of quests that have been completed. Yeah, so gray wood, I went I chopped down a gray wood tree. We've already made the enchanted fabric. We did that together, but this quest was not completed. I did have to make another one of those and put it in my inventory after this was unlocked for it to complete. Uh, Silverwood, you know, I went over to, I think we have a magical, like, mystical, magical biome. I can't know. I don't remember the name of it. It's just right across over here, right? This biome right here. We had a silverwood tree that used to live right here. <laughs> and then there was a great wood tree like right here. In fact, it might be right here where the, uh, the grass is still growing back. Anyway, uh, so we had those trees here and I went to go chop down some of the silverwood. And it said that it required a mining level of iron. I was like, okay, no big deal, right? We'll just take our Maddock here and we'll level it up to an iron. See, it's fortified iron, which means we made an iron sharpening kit in the smeltery over here. And then we put it onto the bench and uh, put it together with a piece of flint and we up the mining level. Yeah, unfortunately, that doesn't work. <laughs> if we look at the silver wood log here, I guess we got a full stack. Uh, if we put that down here and then we mine it, what did I do with that left in here? We mine it with here. You see, it says harvest level iron three. And if I go and mine it, it just goes away. Yeah, it lies to me. It says we have the iron, but we don't. So anyway, I made a uh, iron broad axe head and I converted our broad axe into iron, which seems to be able to chop down this just fine. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, I used the, that axe to get the, uh, silver wood and I used that axe to get ourselves the, um, gray wood, right? So we completed a whole bunch of quests here. And then I started, uh, completing these other things. This research table, this was a thing that in the quest book doesn't really tell you and in the Thaumonomicon doesn't really tell you how to do it. But pretty much what you have to do is just make yourself a uh, Thaum craft table. This one, the wood table out of treated wood and treated wood planks, treated wood slabs and planks, right? You set it down and you right click it with the scribing tools and then it turns into uh, the research table. Now the quest book doesn't recognize you making that, so you have to break it, put it into your inventory, and then it recognizes that. So I had to do that with the research table, our crucible, and the yellow nighter down there in order to complete those quests. Now this research table is kind of interesting if you're getting into Thaumcraft. 
This thing will uh, allow you to get research into different areas. So you do a create theory, which uses some of your paper. Well, I guess actually every time you click this question mark, it uses some of your paper here. So now we've gone down one and then it wants uh, something. So the, uh, the icons that have the yellow exclamation point means that it will use those items. They will go away. You will no longer have them anymore. If it doesn't have the yellow exclamation point, it means you just have to have that in your inventory. And if you do, you can click this thing. Since we have neither of these, air and spiritus, yeah, we don't have those. We can scrap that theory and try again. So this one wants us to have a clock or we can do this one to gain in a random category. So we're getting some eldritch knowledge and we're getting some fundamentals. And we keep clicking through on this until the light bulbs go all the way down and you can complete your research. So let's just do this together real quick. I'm just going to click through. It doesn't really matter what I'm clicking on. I've run out of ink. Okay, so now we got to do the scribing tools. I guess I've done a little bit of this already. Uh, ink. Let's craft those together. All right, we just put the scribing tools back in there, and then we can continue on. It'll also give you that same kind of message if you're out of paper. Uh, so, yeah, just keep clicking through on this. You can read this thing, and it tells you what it's going to give you, like 15 infusion progress. So if you want something specific, you probably want to click on those particular items, right? But anyway, we're almost through this now. But, oh, my goodness. <laughs> it just keeps giving me free ones. Okay, so I don't have either of these. Uh, my thermometer just got used a little bit ago in one other recipe. I can't remember what it was. So let me... Actually, it might have been one of those research things. Glass pane. Yeah, I think it was one of those research things where it got used up in the, the research. Uh, let me get this out of here, and we will remake this guy. Okay, so now we got a new thermometer. Oops, I went too far. Right here. Uh, so we can click that. So you can see I still have that in my inventory. There was no yellow exclamation point. And then we click this one. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. We have 27 artifice and 32 fundamentals just by spam clicking. We complete that theory and that gets added to our totals. I think you can see those totals under fundamentals types of knowledge. So yeah, when these bars get all the way full up to 100, I think is what it is, you gain a research point into that and you can spend that later on for uh, different categories that require the actual research on whatever it is you're trying to learn. So that's how that works. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it is one of those crazy things. So can I craft that in my inventory? No. Okay. So yes, we wanted to make the mirrored glass. So we can now do that by putting a glass pane and a quicksilver into our crafting table. We do get a 5% V discount because of our goggles of revealing. We could get even higher discounts if I made the rest of the uh, Thomcraft armor. I don't know if that goes in bubble slots or not. It possibly could. I haven't even looked. Thomcraft. What does that stuff do? Does it see? It doesn't say bobble on this stuff, warping. Isn't there like another lesser version of this armor? I'm not seeing it at the moment. Okay, you know what, forget it. We don't want to worry about it. Anyway, we have enough V. We have 230 available. Let's make that mirrored glass. All right. I don't think we get anything, any quest complete for that. I was kind of looking through the quest book here and I was kind of disappointed that it doesn't have this as a quest. It's not here anywhere. And another thing is the caster's gauntlet, which we had to make really early on, is locked up by this focal manipulator, which is something I haven't even had to make yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have a bunch of these quests. Let's go through and start claiming some of these. I think that would probably be a good thing to do. Just go through and claim all of these different ones here. I'm going to try doing it this way, where I just go through and I select the thing, then we come back and then click on it and collect all the all the loot chests at once. I'm not sure if that's the best way of doing it. Oh yeah, that's another thing that I wanted to show you guys. Um, the quartz sliver is a good way for you to get the specific aspects. Like when you're trying to do crucible crafting and you want to have like five potentia and then drop something in for whatever. Yeah, if you can get those directly, that's probably the best way of doing that. So in the cauldron, or the crucible, you can refill it by having something pumping water into it. If you drop something in there, like let's take gunpowder for instance, which has 10 
um, Ignis, 10, Perdicio, and 5, whatever that other thing is. So a total of 25 things. If you grab the quartz slivers here, 25 of them, and you drop that in after the gunpowder, you'll get all of that Essentia back as those crystals. So gunpowder, 25 of those. Well, I guess you don't get them all back. There is a little bit of a loss here, isn't there? So I think the rest of that stuff that you're not getting back, you know, that even says that there's one in there. Why is it not giving it to me? Is there not enough water? No, it says it's got a full bucket. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I think the rest of the Essentia that you're not getting back goes up into the atmosphere as this purple smoke, which would absolutely cause no problems at all. There is absolutely no reason for alarm. Don't worry about that. Everything's going to be fine. Anyway, so getting this stuff right here is probably one of the easiest ways to do whatever kind of crucible crafting you want. So since each one of these is directly one of the items that you need. So if you need five potential, you put five of those in there and then drop your item in. Yeah, it works really well for that purpose. Um, so anyway, let's pop these open. So we get some tall, slimy grass. We get a flexed electrum block, just one. Hardened radium glass. We've gotten that a couple of times now. Nether bricks. Huh. Okay, uh, fire mill. All right, that's 10 of them. Wow. All right, that's not bad. Uh, Mirian block legendary. Didn't we already get this one before? We might have. Uh, pop this one. We get some BLT. Of course, we need those foods. Cheddar and sour cream potato chips. All right, eight of those. And then factory blocks. So we got a couple of good rewards, a couple of men rewards, and a couple of eh, rewards. <laughs> all right, let's put all these things away. Uh, BLT, and then what was that other one? Potato chips. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw those down here into our fridge. I did take all of our fresh milk and I put it into a drawer down here. Pretty sure the kitchen floor reads these drawers. Like you should be able to uh, use this milk for recipes when it's like that. I'm pretty sure it works that way. I didn't actually test it, but. Uh, in the later versions of cooking for blockheads, it seems that uh, storage drawers on the kitchen floor become a part of the multi-block and they can read those inventories. So yeah, that's why we did it like that and save some room in our refrigerator. So now that we have this mirrored glass, we can finally try and get to this point here. So we have to have brass plates. Do we have brass? We have aluminum brass. That's not what we want. So brass ingot. How do we make... We have aluminum brass, we have alchemical brass. So is it wanting us to do the Thaumcraft alchemical brass? Yes, it is. So alchemical brass is made in the crucible with instrumentum and iron ingots. Okay. We should have some instrumentum in here from what I was doing earlier. I showed you guys how I did that. Um, the thing that I, I did for this, actually, let's go to recipes. This one, click on this. So we want the instrumentum. I was clicking through here and this shows you all the different things that have instrumentum on it, right? So like every one of these things, including the instrumentum itself, <laughs> contains instrumentum. Uh, what I did is I just made this one, the basic exchanger, which contains a whole lot of stuff on it. Yeah, probably not the most ideal one to use. Anyway, I put that in there and I put a whole bunch of the quartz shards. I ended up with about a stack of the instrumentum and a stack of all the ones that have about a hundred on them. Yeah, again, everything's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. That purple smoke is nothing to worry about at all. <laughs> uh, so now we need two iron ingots. All right, so we should be able to get some stuff going here. So it's five, and one, and five, and one. And there we go. There is two alchemical brass ingots. So again, uh, getting back to this, was that the only way or can we, ah, we can do it this way. Perfect brass plate. That's what we want to do. All right. So quest complete alchemical brass. Nice. So we have that ready to go. Uh, we can just throw those two right there. And now we have our brass plates. Perfect. So I do think we should have about everything ready at this point. Oh, we still have to craft this thing. So let's get that together. That was the mana glass. Mana glass panes. We needed four of those. 
And then we needed the Quicksilver. Well, we only have one. We need to take another Cinnabar here and throw it into that thing. Uh, what else did we need? Two Aquamarine and the Mirrored Glass. Aquamarine. And then we need our wand. Where is my wand? Is it in here? It's in here. Perfect. Okay, so now if if it's like still dark enough, it should be We're almost midnight. We should be good to go on this. So click that in there. Looks like everything is set. And we give it the old clickety click. Woof. That should allow us to get ourselves one glass lens. <laughs> All right, so now we have the glass lens. We should have living rock. We have the black brass plates. We made the arcane stone last time. We have a demonic will. I'm not sure if we have that furnace, but I'm sure we can craft one. If not, should be pretty much good to go here. So let's see what we got. Okay, we do not have a furnace. Really, we don't have one. I feel like I've made a bunch of these. Okay, well, apparently we don't have these. So let me uncompress some cobblestone here. I probably should do more than that, but we're just going to go with it. So there is two stone gears. There's a furnace. There's that demonic will. The one that we got last time, there is our blood altar. Oh my goodness. That has taken so long to get, and we don't even get a quest complete for that. Really? <laughs> do we have blood magic unlocked at all? We do. Oh, Oh, you know what? We should probably do this. We should probably do that. Claim that. And now the blood altar. Okay, we'll claim that. Okay, so that wasn't even something that I was looking for in our inventory. But we are up to this point now. So, okay, that's another thing. So now that we have the blood altar, uh, we want to make a weak blood orb. And put our mana diamond into this. So the weak blood orb. Actually, let's go to blood. Actually, let's not even do that. Let's go to the quest. So it wants us to do a sacrificial dagger. This guy is made with another alchemical brass ingot and a soul scribe. Living wood twig, mana steel, mana pearl. Oh my goodness. There is so much stuff that goes into this. So let us do some of these things do how much we have we don't have any of this stuff living wood twig we have one of those okay then we want a mana steel i can't remember i think that's just iron into the mana pool but what's the recipe in this pack it is iron and then we need a pearl and thankfully we have that okay hopefully we have enough mana in our mania pool over here to do the thing so there's that and that perfect so I think we should be able to make this one item. Now, I don't know if we have enough mana glass still. So that's another thing we're going to have to look at. So there's a soul scribe. Okay. We need another alchemical brass. So again, wait, is it potentia? I can't remember now. We just did it a moment ago. Instrumentum. Instrumentum. So five instrumentum, one iron. Let's go take care of that. Which is another quick and simple thing. Ah, it'd help if I actually toss it in there. Perfect. All right, and then we needed five mana glass, which I'm pretty sure we don't have at this point. Yeah, so how are we doing on the glass situation? There's five glass. We should be able to toss that into the mana pool and convert that into mana glass. Awesome. I think we have everything we need in order to get into a little bit of blood magic. Okay. There it is. Sacrificial dagger. Uh, and then we needed the mana diamond. Once we get enough LP into our blood altar here. Quest complete sacrificial dagger. So this guy, you just right click nearby. Whoops. You right click it nearby your uh, pool here. And it uses some of your HP and turns it into life essence. Totally not blood. It's life essence, guys. It's fine. So we needed uh, 2,000 LP on a tier one to make the weak blood orb. And that now shows on the tool tip at the top. You can see that is going down. However, there is an internal tank, which is kind of annoying. Uh, internal tank that this thing has that you can't see 
that it drains into. I think it just puts one full bucket in there. So we'll probably need to bring this up just a little bit higher. We should have way more than enough now. Okay, so we'll just put our Mania Diamond into our Blood Altar, which should convert it into the weak Blood Orb for what we're trying to do. Awesome. Okay, so we have the weak Blood Orb, and that is used in the Imperfect Ritual Stone recipe. How long have we been trying to get to this point? My goodness, guys. We're going through all the magic mods trying to do this, and now we are finally here. We need some resonating, well, we need the resonator itself. And then that is stone burn, so polished stone. We don't have any polished stone. I think that is just stone bricks, yeah. Okay, that should be good. So we'll take our resonator, just throw it down anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Put that in there. Okay, do we have any speed upgrades? I don't think we have any speed upgrades for, for this mod. Okay, well, let's just wait for this to happen, and then we will create what we're trying to create here. All right, so all of these stone burned has been completed, and we can now make our imperfect ritual stone. Aha. Uh -huh. So I think you have to put a piece of lapis above it or below it. I can't remember exactly how that works. Let's try one way, and then we'll try it the other way. I think it might be below it and then the imperfect on top. Right click, nothing happens. So I did it wrong. So imperfect on the bottom, lapis on the top, right click it. And now check it out. It is nighttime. That's awesome. So what we can do at this point, well, I guess I was going to go move our bed over here, but we have a sleeping bag. So if we want to, we can make it night, then we can sleep, then we can make it night, and then we can sleep. And we can pass days very, very quickly this way, right? That's if we need to do that. Uh, there is some things in Astral Sorcery where that makes sense. Like you want a specific constellation in the sky. You're trying to do some infusion. We're not quite there yet. But this will come into play a little bit later. But this will also make it super simple for us to make it nighttime so we can do our Astral Sorcery crafting in the meantime. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> How long have we been trying to do that? That is now done. Whew, that's awesome. All right, so now that that's done, we can go through and claim some of our rewards that we just collected here. So we just got ourselves, yeah, use near the blood altar to quote unquote donate blood. Mm -hmm. A weak blood orb and then a blank slate. I don't know why that is. Oh, you know what? I think we got a blank slate as a reward at one point, didn't we? Blank slate? Yeah, we got blank slates as a reward at some point. Not that great of a reward, to be honest, because I believe that's just stone infused with a little bit of life essence, so it's not, like, super expensive or anything. Okay, so let's pop open three more loots. So we get Cranberry Jelly Sandwich. We get ourselves Insanium Essence. Just one. Just one. Don't get too insane. And then a BLT. I guess eight BLTs. So we get ourselves two food items and an Insanium Essence. I don't know how much of the mystical agriculture we're going to be getting into in this mod pack, but that Insanium Essence should, I think that's the second time we've gotten that right, that should help us get to where we need to be that much faster. So that's pretty cool. How did we get a Potion of Regeneration? I'm not sure how that appeared in my inventory. Did we get that as one of our rewards? Possibly? I'm not sure. Okay, so now we need to figure out what the next steps are that we need to accomplish in this mod pack now that this quest has been completed. All right, guys, so I feel like we should probably get a little bit more into Astral Sorcery here. I can see that there is some more of the rock crystal ore over there, and looks like there's one over here too, and probably some behind me somewhere. Looks like there's some over there. Anyway... Um, yeah, so in order to proceed, we have to make this looking glass, which uses another one of our glass lenses. Once we get far enough into Astral Sorcery, we'll be able to make this so much faster with just one glass pane instead of having to do this recipe, which I just did now after making it nighttime, thanks to our imperfect ritual stone. Um, so I have the glass lens, and then we need two or four sticks, a gold and some kind of a plank 
let's go craft that up real quick. Uh, oh, this has to be done on the luminous crafting. My mistake. Uh, gold stick. We need four of those. And then we also need one plank. I guess we'll just do oak. That should be fine. All right, so we should have everything ready to go here. Nope. Try by clicking with the wand. You don't do that. That is used specifically for making the craft. Okay, so there we go. Get ourselves another craft going from Astral Sorcery. And looking glass get awesome. So that is another thing that we needed to do here. Apparently we have a reward waiting for us. So with the looking glass, let's right click it. Yeah, if we look around, we can see constellations and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We can see there's stuff there. Um, what we want to do though, it's weird how like, it's only if I'm looking straight up, really do I see stuff. <laughs> uh, we want to get ourselves um, a telescope. I do believe is the next step. Let's claim this reward and pop that. Hardened iridium glass. Man, we're getting that a lot, aren't we? What is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So telescope is the next thing that it wants us to make. But in order to unlock that, we have to do the starlight crafting altar. So this wants us to upgrade our current altar to the next stage. Okay, uh, so we need to get our astral tome. Discovery, exploration, is this the one that has its starlight crafting altar? Okay, so in order to do that, we need some kind of a niter. We need all these things, rock crystal and a liquid starlight bucket into the crafting table. And then we are gonna need a specific platform for this thing to be on. Mm-hmm, okay. So we need some sooty marble, we need the marble bricks, some of the marble pillars, the chiseled marble, and then the mar marble arch all the way around it. Yep, so we gotta use our chisel a little bit here to get all that stuff. Sooty marble, obviously we just craft marble with uh, coal to do that. How much marble are we sitting on? Quite a bit actually. So we have marble brick, we have marble pillar, we have chiseled marble. Uh, we need our chisel. And to turn some of that marble into the marble arch. This stuff. Okay. Uh, so now that we have that, we will need to make a little bit of more sooty marble. Wrap that around some coal. And we'll just make like a stack. That should be, I think, pretty good. Uh, and again, we're going to set it over here on the far end of our base. Because that's the side that has direct access to the sky. We don't have a roof on it. Yep. So let me go ahead and get that set up over here. And we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got ourselves the altar set up over here. I moved our luminous crafting table, and then I moved our imperfect ritual stone over here as well. Uh, we are approaching midnight, which is about where we need to be. Uh, so we need to get ourselves a chiseled marble, the marble pillars, the niter, starlight, and rock crystal. There it is. So it shows the image. We are ready to upgrade. Let's give it the old right-click action and upgrade our altar to the next tier. Actually, what was the name of it? Okay, so we learned about attunement. Awesome. That was exploration, right? So that's the starlight crafting altar is what we just made. So yes, this guy is slightly bigger than the last one. It holds more starlight juice. Uh, and then we have four additional spots for crafting. Very cool. Okay, so now that we have that done, Let's go back to our quest book. I think it wanted that. Yeah, we have to pick that up, put it into our inventory, and then it'll tell us about these other things. So let's do that. Okay, let's wait for the quest to be completed. Maybe sometime. There we go, very good. So now we have this done. We will click that, click this, claim a reward, and we get frosted donuts, eight of them. <laughs> okay, so now that we have that done, we're getting closer to the ritual pedestal. This is the thing where it's going to allow us to make that glass super easy with some liquid starlight and then a glass pane as opposed to the way we've been doing it. But it looks like we have to do the attunement altar first before we unlock that. So we'll have to wait until another time. Um, and then the telescope is now available. Let's take a look at the telescope real quick. Okay, so we can do that on this crafting table. We just need... Uh, three sticks, two gold, and a plank. I think we can do that real quick. 
Well, I thought we could do it real quick, but it doesn't look like we have enough starlight juice to do it, unfortunately. So we have a couple of options here, which we'll have to explore next time. But uh, one of those options is just moving this higher in the sky, which is probably going to be the easiest way to get this done. Um, or we can make a few more of those glass lenses and then make it like a multi-block structure that gives us more starlight power. I think they're called starlight collectors, I think. Uh, we could do that. Probably we're gonna end up making ourselves a temporary altar that's higher up in the Y axis. Yeah, we go up to like 100, 200, something like that. And this should be way fuller just because of how closer it is to the stars. But, yeah, unfortunately, can't do that this episode. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.